Hello friends, it's D. About to react to this vid by Corey Kenshin. This is best short horror films of the year. This is a part of his Super Scary Sunday series. Y'all have been telling me to watch this for a while. We're gonna watch it for Halloween. Um, I actually was going to play some scary games um, and put it up today, but I tried to play Granny and uh, I was struggling heavy. I couldn't figure out how to get out the sale in the beginning and then when I did figure it out I couldn't figure out how to use the key to get out I just got annoyed and I was like I'm over this I don't have the patience for this <laughs> at all so um yeah this is why I don't play video games but yeah so I scrapped that idea and now we're just gonna watch some short horror films so yeah let's see what's on here let's watch hi how you doing spooky scary Sunday and it looks like you're late oh hey you think you about to waltz in here like you, you're on time? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know my eyes are deceiving me. I can't. And put my easy game screeners on. Here, try. Now available at... <laughs> I'm looking at my time here, and everyone who's here within the first hour of the video being launched, I'm not talking to y'all. Matter of fact, let me get y'all a little clappy clap, because y'all was here on time. Not to the rest of you. I, I thought we had an agreement. I, I, maybe oh, it was that just was me. demonic. And I still don't think you're taking me serious. <sighs> it's been a while since what I you know that little ass knife? show up on time. <laughs> Samurai slice the like button. All right. I don't like to be in this position. <laughs> I don't like to threaten my own community, but I will. I will. What's wrong with me? Where you get that little miniature knife from? Sorry about that, guys. I um, I think I just it's a little stressed out lately. I guess I. Hello. <laughs> it's you, huh? Tell me who I am. Edward Norton. Bingo. That's a good boy. How long has it been? Sorry, y'all. I'm going to a Halloween party in a little bit, so if I'm checking my phone, that's why. How could make me a oh? Oh, I saw this. If you guys can recall, they made the video sandwich or make me a sandwich or something like that. That video was awesome. This was sent to us by Devin Seventy, who said, "I'm scared of this man. This vid made me uncomfortable." Yeah, I think a lot of their videos have that effect. Yeah, I remember seeing the sandwich. Toast. That's what I thought this was. Right. Why did my man come in a shot like that? <laughs> All right. Hey! Bro, relax! <laughs> Yo! My dude, listen! Too much velocity! First off, clean this kitchen. <laughs> this shot is so memeable. When your crush tell you she going to bed, but then she, <laughs> she posts the story two hours after. <laughs> My man going through it right now. Because he don't have bread? Bro, go to the store. Right. Don't put your hand, hand in the toaster. That your hand is not bread. Who got danger glue in the... Danger glue? <laughs> uh, Where is this going? Oh, he's going off the deep end. Bro. You can still turn back. There's time. <laughs> Oh my god. Why do you need to glue I your know, hands in order bro, to. It's. Uh, you could have just kept them to. Uh, that make sense. I don't want to do this. Oh! Now your hands will taste no, like glue. No! Now you're eating skin and glue. This is stupid. Ah! 
surely this is just what he's seen. Make me a sandwich was better. Oh! What in oh. the hell? <laughs> and now you're crying at you. Oh, God, that's what you want. What a way to start this off. I've yeah. never seen anybody that down bad for toast in my life. I'm it ain't even that good. A good piece of toast when you hungry? No. Scrum diddly umptious. No. But nah. Yeah. Yeah. Toast is just some side shit that's just there. You take a bite or two, but you focus the on the main food. It was called Telepresence, and it was uploaded by Lone Visionary. It would have been called Pancakes. Twist, this that's was also different. sent to us by Lone Visionary, who said, let me get four of those bars fire after you see this. Mr. Visionary, I'm not sure if you're referring to Nutri-Grain bars, because you know we got those on deck, baby. So I could, I could give you four of these. Those are nasty. Of, what are we talking about? Are you sponsored by them? Cause if so, get your bag. You really but have to open wide for this it's one. not, this is brother. Like a, like a five incher here. <laughs> Bottoms up. <laughs> All right, lone visionary, sitting in your own short film. Let's go. What's up, YouTube? Oh, sure this is with the most no. deceitful genius. We're ever on the vibe, bro. Oh, it's a commercial <laughs> in the film. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your hostess with the most is CPU genius, and we're back again with another. VR headset has been completely upgraded. I said it was Oh, the FNAF in the back? Okay. That's already forced on me enough. Anytime I can skip them, I'm skipping. Which allows you to jailbreak it, but I do not recommend it. This new VR headset comes loaded with new Excuse me, sorry. Take it. Let me hold on. Let me take some steps back. Let me give y'all some stats real quick. This video, you can, we can already tell the production value is there. This video has one thousand views. What? One thousand views and one thousand subscribers. No. Now I don't know how it's gonna end, but that's inconsequential to what I've seen so far. One of the views. Everybody subscribe to Lone Visionary, so. He, they can make more of this. This is oh, crazy. Really nice. It has 1,400 views. I'm not recommended. Look, look at this. Yes, now I got 80,000 subscribers. This is fire. Period. Y'all ran up the sound, the shot, the skill. I love that. They haven't posted in the minute, but... Oculus? How are you... How are you getting these shots? Hey, Kobe Kitchen. Man on a mission. I'm starting to think, like, you ripped this off like someone else. Like, this isn't your stuff. All right, I'm not gonna pause no more, but I'm I'm literally blown away. When you see something like this, that has, that goes to show you there are so many YouTubers mm -hmm. that are slept on. <laughs> Who edited this? Spielberg? Or no, he directs, never mind. Okay, he playing his, he on his VR. Bro, we gotta get some more VR on the channel. It's been too long. Help want it? Like, I just like that light button. Motivate your boy. What's going on? Are you sure you'd like to sideload this device? Uh. think that was good. Whatever just happened. Yeah, what the fuck is that mean? Spirit Bridge Experience? I would yank 
Get that fucking VR right off my head. Bro, turn that off! Period. Don't do it. Absolutely. Don't do it. I'm not, I'm dang near don't want to read it. You I'm putting my hand up. I'll play by over a yoke, out a yoke with two. Next. Dude, you got offering! <laughs> coffee? You like coffee? <laughs> Papa Leg Bro? Like uh, coffee? Why would you? Right. If the game boss was enough of these freaking trials and word games. This is crazy, man. Ah, oh, you son of a. You ugly. Sylvester Stallone? God, you ugly mother <laughs> Look at that. Those are your teeth? That's gonna be real, bro. That's standing right in front of him. Is it really not a game? And of course you know new technology is not gonna come without its own set of bugs. There's been reports of crashing and data moshing and... A lot of... Oh! Other things. Oh! CPU genius, you alright? Now he's spooked. Yeah, he's in it now. He's cursed. Oh, he's a big fan of that freaking thing. I'm hard to go back. Oh, what? So, do y'all think he's in the headset right now, or this is real life? Hmm, good question. Hopefully, it's the headset, but. Either way, it's scary. <laughs> Even this is in the headset. What the fuck is this? Is actual apartment? Oh. Oh. Sorry, oh, yeah, I missed it. Put that Sorry, I was up late. Put that curtain back down. Oh, yeah, yo, look at Oh, heck no. Start swinging. I can control you. You're done, no? You're done. Oh, you're done, no? <laughs> you're done, no? Oh! Oh! I wonder, is Corey blurring this out? He gotta be. I don't think the original video would blur it out. I have to do a sensor yeah, on that. I feel you. Dang, Jason Gaines, my guy. That was crazy. That was freaking crazy. I'ma just say Good work. my dude got his head ripped off at the end. Cause, you know, age restriction team, y'all already know. Might have to censor that ending, but yeah, that'd be on it. That's so first annoying. timer on a spooky, scary Sunday. My video just got age restricted um, not too long ago because a kid got slapped in the video. It's like, come on. Like, 
You want to make it to where uh, only people could watch who 18 and over just because this little baby kid got slapped? Like, it's not the end of the world. They all right. Everybody, please, let's get them to at least, like, I feel like 20K is not, should not be hard. 20K subs, let's go. You did what is that? The next one is called Pizza Delivery Story 3, and it was uploaded by one of the most goaded animators, Llama Hearts. How you been? Now, this was sent to us by Kristen Mills, who said nothing. Wow. You, you want to talk to me, Kristen? I could have had, like, a little personal moment. Actually, you know what, Kristen? I'm going to create her moment, okay? You you didn't have to say nothing. I get it. You're shy, right? You probably didn't know what to type after that. Well, he this song is dedicated to you, Kristen Mills. A song? <clears throat> Kristen Mills. Thank you. Yo, we haven't watched <laughs> the llama arts in a minute. Yeah, I haven't either. This happened in April of 2021. Okay. My region hadn't been hit so hard by COVID, so most aspects of our lives were normal. I had graduated in 2020 and I needed a job. I was 18 at the time, mm. almost 19. I wasn't studying, and I didn't know what the hell to do with my life. <laughs> so in March, I got a job oh, at yeah. Pizza Hut as a delivery driver in kitchen. Yeah. Hey, respect. The night. I know some of y'all 18, 19, 20, young 20s. Y'all in that Should stage that. where it's like you graduated high school, maybe you want to go to college, maybe not. You just don't really know what you want to do. But respect to Ooh. this guy and anybody Ooh. who... At oh. least is working. At least is putting together a plan. It's okay to not know what you want to do, but as long as you're making moves, all right, go out here at least trying to grind something to get closer to where you want to be. Much respect. You think this dude want to work at Pizza Hut, sweeping the freaking dirty floors after people? But that's just a temporary situation. Let's see what happens with this guy. It seemed normal. It was one of those days that didn't seem like anything interesting would happen, but those are always the days when the unexpected happens, mm. you know? Yeah. It was around 10.30 on a Saturday night. We closed at 11, so it was just me and my boss during the last hour. Okay. As usual, we got a late order. It was close, and I had finished mopping and sweeping the floor, so it was no hassle. My boss was always prepared for a million orders to come at the last minute. So he asked me to do it as fast as possible. Right. The restaurant was located in a plaza on the main road. The traffic was consistently heavy on a Saturday, so I avoided the main road and took the side exit. Mm. Even though the plaza was in one of the busiest parts of town, this street, however, was always so dark and empty. Mm. This street was also really long. So all you could see were the traffic lights about 500 meters ahead. Hey! Something was confusing me, though. Like my eyes were playing tricks on me. There was this black shadow blocking oh. part of the lights, and there was this metallic object shining in the light above, uh. bobbing up and down like it was floating. As I got closer, I could see the bottom of this dark silhouette. It looked like it was walking. Mm. So I approached with caution, mm -hmm. preparing to break or swerve. I got close enough to see this person was dressed in a long coat with a hood Bro, similar I can, to oh, a cowl, I can see. which is unusual where I live. Is that death? I turned my yeah, car like lights death. on bright and honked my horn, hoping that they'd move to the side or something. But they didn't even flinch. Bro. Finally, I got close enough to see that it was some asshole dressed as death. What is my dude honking at him for? Yeah, he's he on, on the sidewalk. Side I was thinking that too. He's not even in the street. Like, we got Grim from Billy and Mandy over here. He's just minding his business. He's just a non-driver, that's all. Carrying a scythe. Something was odd, though. People, even if they are on the sidewalk, usually look over their shoulder at an approaching car. I mean, they don't have to. They didn't. As I drove past, <laughs> however, this person ever so smoothly looked right into the window of my car on the driver's side. It gave me such a fright, like when people clap in your face. I passed them too quickly to see their face, let alone see what gender they were. After I passed what? them, I looked into my rearview mirror trying to see them, but it was so dark. I stopped at the traffic lights 
And that's when I started this to panic. Stop watching a lot more. I remember <laughs> those scary clown guys who used to block someone. people's path and mm. tap on car windows. They could get ran so over. I went through the red. No Why his hair is like lightning anyway. bolts? I pulled over to the side and tried calling the cops at the station, just in case some. What? Bro! You mean to tell me that this, man, is, this is a male carrot? At the very least, we got somebody dressed as the Grim Reaper. I don't keep the denying sidewalk, my abilities. That's on your business, not doing nothing. <laughs> and then they just give you a quick little glance. You got a little scared because you all. <laughs> <laughs> if you would have just kept your eyes on the road to begin with, you probably wouldn't even seen them, much less paying like 99% of, you, percent of your attention to them. Now you're going to call the cops? <laughs> this is crazy so far. Somebody hits them, but no one answered. I remembered my boss told me to hurry, so I just went on with the delivery. Delivery of pizza, bro. Right. I got to the house and parked oh, on the, the side Lama of the Arts. road, and I gave the people their pizza. It's always awkward right handing here. over the pizza in silence. So to make conversation, I told them what I saw. <laughs> nah, hand me my shit in silence. We ain't gonna talk about. Bro, this is what's <laughs> Delivering the pizza? What do you mean it's awkward? Bro, take your freaking pizza. Yeah, that'll be uh, 1784. Take the Thank money. Thank you. Have home. a nice night. This dude was like. Yo, oh, I just saw. <laughs> There's, there's a guy over there. They laughed and said that it was probably someone making a TikTok. I laughed as well. I guess it was a pretty good prank. Bro. I got in my car take and your went to start it. Behind home. But I couldn't find the keys. <laughs> I checked outside my car as well, but I couldn't find them. Luck I searched the for ages, but no luck. I started to panic and kept thinking about that person I saw on the street. I jumped into my car and locked it from the inside. I almost started crying when I heard jingling. Okay. I looked to my right to see that person dressed as death, holding my keys, staring into my window. Ooh. I felt everything in my body okay. pulsating. Oh, I my keys. Now, I but we can be scared. It was like they were staring into my soul. Eventually, I started acting on instinct. I don't remember thinking or doing it. Well, he got the but key, all of a sudden, so... I was holding down the locks inside my car. I'll hold it down there. My car is small and only has two doors, so I could easily reach across and hold both the locks down. Mm -hmm. They started spamming the car remote and trying to open the door. I was using all my energy to hold down those locks. Mm. I don't think I'd ever used so much effort and strength before in my life. All this time, I couldn't take my eyes off them. This person, this thing, standing over my car with a scythe. Mm. I knew that if they got in, I wouldn't stand a chance. The shadow from the hood hit their face. Was this even real? They stopped trying to get in and just looked at me. I started screaming out of exhaustion and I became dizzy. Still my screaming. vision was blurred. Bro. There was a silence. And then about 10 dogs started barking close by. This gave me hope. While leaning on the scythe, they lowered their body oh. and put their face only a few centimeters from the window. Finally, Except I could see face. this person had covered themselves with a skull mask. Uh, we both froze and just stared at each other. I couldn't dead. help but look into their eyes. The eyes. There was something unnerving about them. They didn't oh. look like they were holding in laughter, like it was a prank. Through this creepy skull mask, no, that's I creepy. saw that they just looked curious, like how a little kid looks at an animal in the zoo. I shut my eyes and started calling for help. I had been screaming for so long, why couldn't anyone hear me? Bro. I fear. He's still in a driveway of the house he just delivered the pizza to, right? I'm about to, here's what I'm about to do. Now, I got, like, the reflexes of a cornered cheetah, okay? He's, like, stretched out, got his foot on the passenger door. I'm turning, opening the door, Are doing running? a quick spin out of the freaking car while I'm airborne, hitting a quick tatsu to close the door, running to the freaking front door of the house that I'm at, lowering my shoulder, crashing through, running up the stairs, doing a front flip into the bedroom of the family of the pizza I just delivered, landing in the center of the two <laughs> people the that fuck? are in the bed, and I'm gonna be like, 
the door. What? <laughs> Telling you. The I remember three, my phone what? Google Assist. With my hands still in the locks, I tried my luck and said, Hey, call triple zero. It worked. What's that? My phone contacted emergency services. I cannot describe the feeling I got hearing the voice of the operator on the other line. I heard the blunt jingle of keys dropping. I opened my eyes, and the person dressed as death had disappeared. I tried looking around, but I didn't want to move. I just spoke to the lady on the line while holding the locks. She told me to keep doing what I was doing, and that she was sending the police. I waited on the line with her until the police arrived. It felt like hours, but it was only around ten minutes. I told them what had happened. Mm. Because the person was threatening and I feared for my safety, I was required to make a formal statement to the station. They told me they'd keep it on file. The officers spoke to the people in the neighborhood, and none of them heard me scream or saw anything, mm. and they were used to the dogs going off at night. Mm. I found my keys around two meters from my car. I called my boss and the officers followed me back to my work, where I signed out. I then followed them to the police station. I called my parents and they took my statement. It was almost 1 a.m. when it was finally finished. Dang. This was a couple of months ago, but sometimes it feels like I'm going crazy. It was probably some old messing with me, but they just looked so curious. Like they were studying me. Or they enjoyed watching me. Enjoyed watching me feel helpless and terrified. I still do deliveries, but I never leave my keys in the car. Whoa, yeah. So you never do that to begin with. Wow, that was uh, kind of crazy. You know, the whole time I was thinking, it was like a supernatural thing. I don't know why the cloak and... When he was first driving up on it, I thought it was like death. But it was a guy in a mask. If he wanted to like kill this guy so bad, why didn't he just break the window of the car? And why did he want to kill him so bad to begin with? Probably because he wasn't minding his own business. <laughs> This next one is called The Changing Room, and it was uploaded by Grimoire Horror. How you guys doing? I remember we reacted to something from them before. But this was sent to us by Misty Clap, who said, This video got me jumping, and I am also a big fan, and can I get a bar? Oh, I just can watched you get a bar? Misty, you know I keep that thing on me. Time to gobble, Misty. I just want to hear what he has to say about it, so we don't go to the end. Right. But I already watched this on my second channel, on D Reaction. Every day uh, for October, I reacted to... What the fuck, YouTube? I reacted to a scary <laughs> video, and this was one of them. So I already saw this. Let's just... I wonder what his opinion is. Girls always be having their phone in their bag pop. I've never done that. <laughs> Really? Bro! Sam Evanson! Jamie Stevens! I'm still tripping over how they made the shot with the mirrors, but then he could go through each room. Nah, that was hard. Okay, Before we start this last one, I want to say thank you standpoint. to everyone who actually got on Twitter and sent me a story. This has been the most, I've get, I received the most submissions ever because last week I had to threaten y'all and say like this series is gonna end because nobody was sending in stuff. We getting heat now. This is what I'm talking about. Keep sending me stuff. Love you. The last one for this week is a continuation of a video that we started last week called Death Record. And it was uploaded by the legendary Social House Films. Now, this was sent to us by Optic Step Bro, who said, I love the last it, series Sunday and wanted to send in part two. My guy, well, y'all are on it? Unstoppable. Well, I also happen to notice Step Bro's in your name. Oops. I seem to have gotten stuck in the dryer. <laughs> so Step Bro doesn't catch me like this. <laughs> Just Stop. for that bit, I had to Stop. deconstruct my entire setup and get the tripod out. All right, let's watch. 
I cannot Ooh. hear it. Part two. Hey, if y'all don't know what's going on, go watch Last Spooky Scary Sunday, because no. this is part two. No. I'm going to just use that. Uh... What's going on with our chick that just pulled up to that house that she didn't live at and break in? Okay, she broke it in. Is llama hearts right there? Okay, yeah, last time I, last thing I remember, she saw herself in the mirror. <gasps> Is this the owner of the house? I get shoes. She saw herself in the mirror. It's the owner. films y'all production i hear the music i'm paying attention s tier she doesn't see anything wrong with this shoes on in the house Wet with snow? Maybe we check in early tomorrow. Mm -hmm. She just had that copied and <laughs> pasted. I'll be the Airbnb host. So it's like you a gotta go through hotels. Airbnb, early maybe. Yeah, they don't ever let you check in early on no Airbnb. And I ask all the time. <laughs> They're uh, like, nah. That's why. But hotels, they let you check in a little early sometimes. A lot of time, actually. You ask. Dang, she throw it in there with the old fool. That was a death record. Death record. So it's a record that was played that made somebody kill themselves or kill somebody? Or made a ghost come out? Demon? Wait, wait, wait. So, like, are we done with the first protagonist? Oh. Dang, I hope we are, because I don't know what happened. Freaking pause right before. Patient session. All right, some experimentation with this record. So she never seen this record. I'm assuming this is her Airbnb that she rents out or something. Oh. Mm -hmm. Patient has been demonstrating uncanny ability to persuade his victims. I believe this phenomenon is power. There's a ritualistic chant. Mind control on a level I've not seen before. Telepathy. Patrolling others. I watched as he directed our nurse to unleash him from his bonds. She acquiesced. He can control your mind. Mm. And once I learn how to harness this power for myself, there will be a great cleansing of the earth. Bro, always on a light yagin. I can make you stop with your very tracks. Oh. I'll turn you into a statue. Mm -hmm. I'll down. peel off all of your skin and I'll start with your eyelids. Maybe you can look like me. Oh. I will cut your nose off and I will feed oh, no. <laughs> Where did you learn this power? <laughs> turn you into a statue. Tell me! <laughs> Ew. Ew. Yeah, I like oh. <laughs> uh oh. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. She about to. She about to put her hands in the freaking. This disposal. Girl, you got a long spoon or nothing? Oh. I don't ever do that. Ever. Probably because of horror movies. And it's kind of stupid because you don't know what's going to happen. Oh. Um, uh, doo doo water. <laughs> Come on! Oh, that's a bitch head! <laughs> what? Connected to the touch. <laughs> the first protagonist is dead. Absolutely. Oh, See that blood right there? Bro, that knife would have been the first thing you saw. Oh, you're done. Be a part three. Somebody gonna find both of them. <laughs> she survived. She survived. Oh, she got a chrome dome. <laughs> I Shut thought her up. neck broke. Not a chrome dome. Big ass head. That Big ass hard ass head. Oh, the chick is gone. I don't see her. That's how this is just. No, it's night time. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Night is coming. Gotta sprint out of there, bitch. I don't get the slow movement in horror movies. I'm running as fast as I can. What, what's happening? Oh, I thought that was something else. Hurt. Um, and now you want to show some urgency. You better break that window. Break that door. It is not hard to break doors. Well, it depends on the door. This type of cheap little door. <laughs> oh! It turned itself on! Literally. Oh, somebody in the back. Somebody coming. Control. Somebody coming. Ah! Who was in that rocking chair? Rocking chair. And why you still got this record playing? This is the cause. This is the cause of the bullshit. Uh, it's the last chick. Why she so ugly? <laughs> now it's behind you. Oh! Stab you in the eye. That was good. Wow. That was good. That was the best one. Say the best for last. I'm glad I didn't this skip it. This is so fire, man. It was good. They made a three-part horror film. This is why you're the goat. So <laughs> in part three, first of all, somebody please send in part three so we can watch the finale next week. But in part three is <laughs> the protagonist from Next part week. two then gonna be the antagonist? It's like whoever died last, like they gotta kill the next person. Bro. So that's all the time mm -hmm. I got for And people have told me to react to his newest video. No, it says something about he delete his channel. But then I looked at the comments and people were like, Oh, he ain't going nowhere. So I'm I'm not watching. I think he's just taking a break or something like that. I'm not sure of the details, but I don't feel the need to watch a whole twenty minute video about it. To, to get the deets um i'll just wait for his next uh video <laughs> when, whenever he comes back um but yeah these were some decent horror films short horror films the last one was the best by far kind of makes me want to go back and watch the first one i might do that so that i could catch up and see what's going on and then i'll probably watch the third one probably in another video i don't know uh, but this was cool. Happy Halloween to you all. Hopefully y'all dress up today and get some candy and all that good stuff. Let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what other videos you want to watch and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!